Hey YouTube, this is Jay Sones. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick one. It's just about forensic evaluation, skinning. Also cover grid loot and counters. Why forensic evaluation? On UO Outlands, you actually get a bonus when you use this skill, and it's also used for skinning. As you gain skill, you have a chance of getting the fancy leather type of skinning knife you use increases that chance for the bonus materials. For PvP and PvM, it increases damage. Take a look at the wiki if you want to learn more. Uh, the basics with this script is uh, we want to make sure that we use an Elven Spellblade. Uh, that is the item type for a skinning knife. If I do greater than info on a skinning knife, it shows as Elven Spellblade. When we look at our script right now, we're basically making sure that we have an Elven Spellblade in our backpack. If so, double click it, wait for target up to one and a half seconds, and then target self. Uh, target self lets you uh, grab anything around your character. So let's just go run over here real quick, kill something. Do, 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 do. Hey, there's a bird corpse. Boom. When you're out in Outlands, you need to answer the captcha. If you're inside of a dungeon, you don't. But basically, that looted that guy up. So let's uh, attack this guy here. Boom. And there we go, 18. If you are working on cooking, grab the meat. If not, you don't really need the meat. You know, that's just extra weight. Totally up to what you're doing on your character. But going back to the script and why this is awesome. So it basically targets ourself and, and loots anything around us uh, or it will repeat a skinning knife. Now, some people might be running other script loops. And so if they run a skinning script, then their loop stops. So what I have here is if you've seen my previous video about creating a bandage replacement, boom, link there. We can actually call that script from this script. And I hide it behind a skill check because I actually have echo. Some of my characters have healing, some of them don't. So if my healing skill is greater than 50, uh, then I give myself a little overhead healing message and it runs the script bandage self combat loop. Let's get some corpses lined up here together and I'll show you that it's gonna do them all at once with this script. Pop it like it's hot. Get that guy stuck there, huh? Let me put him out of his misery. So I'm gonna hit B. Oh, that's another thing, because I set it to a hotkey, right? You want you want things on hotkeys. So my skinning macro is set to a hotkey of B. Boom. Another thing, I don't know if you guys have this on or not, but this is the auto uh, grid loot. So that's under general. And if you scroll down to grid loot, I have both, meaning that it pops up the corpse and it pops up this grid. I like both being on. Because that way, if for whatever reason you're clicking this and it stills on the corpse, you can see it. So, and what's nice is you can just click, right click, click, right click, click, right click, and you're done. So I recommend setting that up. All right, and then down here are counters uh, displays, right? So, uh, for example, I put some of my important things on here, like leather, just so I know how much there is. Um, and that is, again, in the options, and you go to counters. I don't know why my watch thought I was going to do that. Anyway, you go to counters, enable counters, and then these are the options, right? You can make it as big or as little as you want, depending on what you're trying to do. There's some nice options there. Sometimes you'll get like a wait for target, uh, or I'm sorry, you can't use that yet message if you're trying to uh, skin. And that's because skinning is technically behind a skill check. So to give an example, if we click forensic evaluation, if we actually run this skill, it's the same thing as clicking the knife. So if I click this and I click myself, it carves using the knife, okay? As if we use a skill and then try to skin, it will say we can't. We're gonna hide and then push our B skill. It says we must wait a few moments. I can't actually skin right now. So just keep that in mind if for whatever reason you're not able to skin and you're confused why, Anyway, in my next video, which I started to record, and then I was like, okay, let's cover the sk let's cover skinning first, just so you can get a stockpile. Uh, but basically, I'm just trying to stockpile a bunch of uh, hides for us to work on tailoring. So I have uh, two 240 right now, uh, plus some, and so I'm hoping that's enough. I'm gonna start doing that other video, and then I'll report back to you guys with how how much it took. So. While you're here, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. I'm close to 500 subscribers, so I'm going to do something special for that. We'll see. Uh, next video, though, will be tailoring. Questions, comments, concerns, like it, love it, hate it, drop it in the comments. Peace.